Setting up campaigns in Epon White Label DSP is very simple. All you have to do is go to Campaigns tab, click Create New Campaign, and fill in all these fields. Some are mandatory, marked by an asterisk, some are not. Let me guide you through this process. You give the campaign a name and define the bid price that your campaign will, will bid with. Please note there is also an option to set a maximum bid price. This exists because EPOM can artificially increase your bid price based on some algorithms that we have in our system. You can also define whether this campaign runs on second price or first price auction and the flight dates when onto which the campaigns would run. Lifetime limits for impressions and spend, daily limits for impressions and spend, and frequency capping per 24 hour or per 30 day period. Filters act as a whitelist or a blacklist and have a separate tab for them, whereas Pride Marketplace allows you to run PMP deals with the SSP. Recency cap is a cooldown because if you, for example, put 3 per 24 frequency cap, the user can see all those three ads within seconds. Whereas if you put a recency cap on 600 seconds, this will initiate a cooldown between every consecutive view for the unique user. That means that they would have to wait at least 10 minutes until seeing an ad from this campaign again. Exposure time multiplier automatically decreases your bid whenever you meet the same user again and again, just because there's a smaller probability of the user interacting with an ad every next time they see it. Bidding rules and bid multipliers are set over here, and we have a specific section for that. Bidding strategy normal means that you would spend your budget as fast as possible, or as balanced, spreads it out over time. Targeting options are plenty, and you can search for that in a separate video that we have. And of course, once you do all that, you click save and exit for the campaign to be created. Please note that after you create a campaign, you would have to add a creative, one of the many formats that Epom supports. And on the creative level, you can override the bid price, frequency cap for 24 hour and 30 day period. This is more important than the one set up on the campaign level. And you would have to create a banner either by uploading the file to our servers or by specifying a third party ad tag given to you by any other platform or an ad server. You would have to choose the size, of course, custom sizes there as well, with a hate for that matter. You can take advantage of a big, big list of macros that could generate uh, a dynamic value to be passed to the advertisers. And of course, you can play around with targeting options on the creative level over here. Last but not least is attribution links info. What this does is it allows you to track clicks and conversions within EPUM ad server if the advertiser can work with the server-to-server -server post bag, calling EPUM whenever a click or a conversion happens for EPUM to count everything automatically and generate your reports in the analytics section.